Hello, my name is Santiago Beltran, and you're watching TI-84 Plus Silver Edition Tips and Tricks on Santi BM. Today we're going to demonstrate how to solve for an x, or the zeros of an equation, with your calculator. The first thing we want to do is go to y equals. In our y1 prompt, we want to type in the equation where we want to find our zero. In this example, we'll demonstrate with 3x squared minus 6x minus 24. And then we'll hit enter once you have your equation typed. Next we'll press graph. Here we can see that we have one zero and another zero. These zeros are where y equals zero, so they're going to be on the x-axis. So to get the calculator to give us the exact zero, we do second trace or second calc. We go to number two or zero, and then we go to the left bound the x-axis near the zero and then you want to center the cursor on the bottom side of the uh, zero or below the x-axis so that the two cursor points that you selected are in between the zero value. This is where it's going to search for the zero. When it says guess you can just ignore it by hit enter again and then after that you will get zero equals uh, well, x equals negative 2. That's your 0 for that equation. But we also have another one. So let's try it again. We'll do second trace, second calc. We go to 0. And then we move our cursor. Now we're going to go to the positive end of the x-axis. And we want to move our cursor to the left bound or below it. And then we want to surround it. And then that one doesn't go all the way. So we'll go ahead and just go just to be on the safe side. And there we go, x equals 4. If you were to solve these out by hand using factoring, you could also find that this equation that we give here will factor out to 3x plus 2, x minus 4, our zeros of negative 2 and 4. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Santiago Beltran. Once again, you're watching Santi BM TI84 plus Silver Edition Tips and Tricks. Please rate subscribe, and leave us a comment for our next suggestion. Thank you very much.